Oh man, that was way out across the river, Mitchell. He actually ate it with some authority. So I think there's some promise here. This is the fish we were looking for. Beautiful walleye right there to end the day on. Can't really ask for anything more than that right there. Mitchells, we're doing it. You okay with that? I feel like I was gonna hit a rock, so I just kind of slowed down. I know, I know. What is going on, guys? <laughs> Today we are back with another video. It's been one of those days for us, one of those couple days for us, one of those weeks for us, you could say, where uh, I just kind of been, you know, it's been like fish are going here, we're going here, you know what I'm saying? Spent a few days on the Mississippi River earlier this week, did good a couple days, and then we're like, all right, let's pull out the big guns, let's pull out the cameras, let's get some big Mississippi River walleyes on video. And uh, it just, like the bite just went flat. Like, could you scrape up a few fish probably for something? Yeah, but you know, you know how that goes. That's just not that cool to do. So called a little audible today, came to central Wisconsin and we're gonna do a little bit of river fishing. And the day's already feeling much better, isn't it Mitchell? Absolutely. I think we're actually gonna get it done finally. Are you talking loud enough for that stupid mic ears to pick oh, that up? All right, so. Picking up my breathing. So, so Mi in. Mitchell equipped himself with the mic because he was sick of me talking over him all the time. <laughs> Which we'll see how that goes. I might unplug it halfway through the video so I can talk over him. But we're back, and we got a few hours this afternoon into evening to, to catch some of these fish. And uh, I can tell you this: the water temp's 44 degrees. The rivers come up a little bit. There's a little bit of color to it. That only means one thing if you're a river fisherman. Generally, fish are going to be way up shallow in some slower water. So that's kind of the plan. Find some of these fish way up shallow, and hopefully, Mitchell, they're just going to be thunking jigs oh, I sure hope so. way up in some really shallow water. Um, but we'll kind of see how it goes. We got a few different things we got to film today, this being one of them, obviously. We want to get you guys an awesome YouTube video. Um, you guys are probably saying, Tom, this intro is getting so drug out at this point, which it probably is. Um, but, uh, you know, it's been kind of a hectic last couple weeks with travel with the app coming out huge appreciation to all you guys who download it mitchell how many people mitchell's my analytic guy how many people are on this thing mitchell we have twelve thousand dollars twelve thousand of you guys twelve thousand of you guys download the walleye now app we greatly appreciate that and is my time going to be a little bit split between making awesome youtube content and making highly informational video for the app absolutely you just got to do it right so um, but yeah, huge thank you to you guys. We're kind of idling up to potential spot number one here. We'll see how it goes in a second. Hopefully be thunking some big walleyes. Mitchell right there. Mitchell's right there. Mitchell's retying quick. He just snagged up. I got a nice walleye on right here. <laughs> I was just about to kind of move us sideways. We're so shallow right now. The wind is gusting like crazy right now, Mitchell. We got a nice fat porker central Wisconsin walleye right here. My gosh, I cannot believe that wind when it starts going like that. Can you believe that, Mitchell? It's almost ridiculous. There we go. Number one out here in central Wisconsin today. And uh, we'll take them. That's just about as fat, porky, cute little guy as you can ask for right there, Mitchell. Are you getting me a secondary B-roll shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if we use We'll see if we use it or not. My gosh, that wind is incredible. Look at that beautiful walleye right there. Let's let him go. If we can do that, oh, about 75 more times today, it'll be all right. There we go. And that came on, kind of like we said in the intro, one of my favorite little get-ups right here. It's quickly become one of my favorites in the spring. Kalen's Tickle Shad 3.8. And kind of just that little natural with that little uh, bright tip on the tail. Hooked up. Another walleye here, Mitchell, and we are super shallow. What's that? It is. And we are just fishing super, super shallow. There we go. A little boat flipper right there. I've just been playing with a few different colors. Smaller male right here, but we'll weed through some of these to get some bigger ones. There we go. That is on the tickle worm right there. On an eighth ounce K 
Kalen's Pendu Jig. And I remember the last time I was here, this was literally on land. I mean, there was literally land here. The river's gone up a couple feet now. Better mix on their same. No, this one could be better, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Better nice... fish? What is this? this... It did it pop really again? Nice. Yeah. It oh, did. It's a, keep his head down, Mitchell. Keep his head down. That's a nice fish. That's the one we're after. That's Mitchell a nice strikes, fish right there. Mitchell strikes gold out here in the central gold, Wisconsin baby. nervous system. <laughs> no, see, this is how you're going to lose him, Mitchell. You, this is I always know, what always happens always on video. Messing around. This I is know. always how it goes for Mitchell. I on got video. him. Can you just grab me the net kind, sir? I'm going to take my time, though. Thank you. Yeah, take your time. We actually just came from the Mississippi River, and Mitchell lost like a potential monster. I did, this honestly. Morning. And I had literally just dropped the Dubuque rig right down, literally just hit bottom one pump. Had a pretty nice fish on, of course I lost it because I was messing around with the GoPro. And judging by the fact we're in central Wisconsin, you guys can assume how the rest of our morning down there went. Good it's work, a, Mitchell. It's a nice fish. That thing had to have been in like literally a foot of water. It was, yeah. There's literally nothing better than... Jig punch? Shallow water, <laughs> yeah. It's incredible, isn't Especially it? in two feet of water like this. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to It's a good leave. fish. I like this. I like this a lot, do you? I love this. <laughs> this doesn't get old. It sure does not. All right, here we go. Bring him to me. He's going to pop his little head up right here. All right, I'm counting on you, man. I, am counting. I don't know if I've ever seen someone fight a fish softer than this. Hey. It's a nice one, though. <laughs> there we go, Whatever. Mitchell. That's the guy can make the size fun of me all he for. wants, but hey, look at it. At least I, it's in the net. It's in the boat. more of that, buddy. Those are good nice ones fish. right there. That's what we're Big, after. Big, long spawned out. <laughs> Female, up in super shallow water. How are you gonna beat it? Especially when they smash a jig like that. All right, last two days, Tom and I have been running around like crazy trying to get a decent bite. And uh, finally, it seems like it's here, doesn't it, Tom? Like We're over it. here in central Wisconsin. We're on a river system, super shallow water, pitching jigs, getting it done. Here's a nice fish. We're gonna get her back in the water and go for some more. See you later. Oh, give me some, dude. Oh, good it feels work. good, it feels good, doesn't it? Decent. I'll grab him. Don't worry about it, Mitchell. I got this one. Got it all under control here, Mitchell, but my gosh, did he throttle it. There's nothing more fun in the spring than pitching jigs and plastics around and just feeling that classic clunk on your line. It really is as good as it gets. And this guy's just a wild little 17 incher here. Go ahead and grab him. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Man, look at that. <laughs> we'll just twist him on in. Look how pretty that guy is right there. Walleye in these shallow river systems in the spring. So much fun right there. If you're gonna keep them, those are the ones right there. We're just letting them go today, but man, is that fun. And they are absolutely clocking these things. You know, you get these bright sunny days, these fish sliding up shallow, water temps are right. Little jig and plastic, they're all over it. What do you think of that, Mitchell? Ooh, it's a decent walleye. It's a decent walleye. <laughs> Gosh, dude, is that such a fun bite or what? <laughs> I'll grab him, I'll grab him. Oh man, just never gets old. Look at that guy. Nice 17 inch boat flipper right there. There we go. And man, dude, when they're in shallow water and eating a jig like that, does not get any better. I know I think I've said that on every single fish I've had today. But when you're fishing this shallow and you just get that thunk, <laughs> and you can wind up and swing on them, man, is it fun. And, uh, you know, like I said, spent almost no time in my life fishing where we're fishing right now. But I think, you know, if we spend a little bit of time out here over the next day or so, we'll probably end up finding more of those nice fish like Mitch was catching. And uh, we'll get that guy back in the water. All right, guys, so talking a little bit about baits for a second here. Basically everything we're using today jig and plastic got a pile of different jigs and plastics right here a few baits that have caught fish the tickle worms right there um kaylin's tickle worm i'll go ahead and link all this stuff down below if you guys want to check it out the 3.8 inch tickle shads in that color i've caught fish but kind of it seems like one of the better colors that we've tied on especially today arkansas shad 
I've been fishing a couple different ones. The 3.8 has been good, but it really seems like for a lot of this real shallow water stuff, we've been fishing actually the 2.8 inch size of both the tickle shad and the tickle tail. And I know this one, I believe, um, you know, should be in stock. I know the, the tickle shad in Arkansas shad has been a little bit tougher to find because it's been such a hot bait pretty much everywhere we've gone this spring. You got a fish, Mitchell? Oh, I thought you had one on. But definitely those two baits right there have accounted for the majority of our fish. And you can definitely catch fish on the other colors too. It just seems like for whatever reason, as we were kind of siphoning through different bait options, that those two were the best. And as far as, you know, what, obviously we're putting them on a jig head. Whenever you're fishing river systems, super important to think about jig weight. And it's all dictated by current flow. So if we're fishing a spot, you know, real shallow water that's got a significant amount of current, generally we'll fish like a quarter ounce. If we're fishing a spot that's real slack up in some shallow water, we can go all the way down to eighth. But for most of the spots, it seems like you want a little bit of current kind of hitting some of these slower moving areas. And that quarter ounce and eighth ounce have kind of been the deal today. So um, that's kind of the setup, pretty simple. We've been either pitching around side to side or a lot of times just throwing right back into a current seam. Like you can see super clearly behind us here, pulling that bait up back to you real slow and kind of letting it just hit bottom and just get real wispy there in the current each time has definitely been the key to having success today. Right, nice. at, right at the boat, nice Tom. Oh my gosh. It's good. I don't know if it's as big as before, but... Uh, well, we definitely have dialed a little nicer fish here. Yeah. Nice fish. I haven't staying down there. I don't know. Uh, no, he's a little, little maybe, maybe little we guy, can flip him. Are I gonna him for you? Oh, thank After you. After we caught the Mitch's last big fish, now we're on high alert on big fish. Yes, yes, yes. We're, we're just can, getting the net ready every time. I can tell you we have definitely keyed in on uh, the color they want, Mitchell. Yeah, I'd say so. I've it's, kind of uh, been switching right here, around this, quite uh, a bit. This Arkansas shad, the little tickle tail shad. They are dialed in on that. I've been switching my color all over, and since I got away from the Arkansas Shad, I've caught significantly less fish. And these little males are absolutely milking, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Man. Is he excited to see you? He was. Nice. He was excited. So Mitchell's got the tickle shad on. I got the original tickle tail now. Now we both have the same color on. Oh man, that was way out across the river, Mitchell. He actually ate it with some authority. So I think there's some promise here. This is the fish we were looking for. Caught a few on a crankbait. And I was like, eh, maybe we're just not hitting bottom off the left side. Man, did that fish ever doubled up? All right, we're doubled up here. I got a feeling, what do you got on? They're eating a little bit of everything, aren't they? Um, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, he's a nice fish. He's definitely one of the nicer ones. <laughs> Mitchell's getting at him. Are we having fun now, Mitchell? Oh gosh. Are we having fun? <laughs> All right, you ready? You ready? Oh man, dude, I love it. I love it. I love it. Man, did that fish ever throttle that thing? And we got him. That's what we're looking for. Well, you know, as we're kind of sitting here doing the thing, trying a bunch of, <laughs> trying a bunch of different stuff in a bunch of different locations. And uh, it's been a fun afternoon, huh? I'm glad we got off the Mississippi when we did. It just wasn't that good to us, wasn't fishing good at all. But look at that beautiful walleye right there to end the day on. Can't really ask for anything more than that right there. Me and Mitchell catching fish like crazy. I'll bet one third of the fish we catch make it into the video because there's been so many of this, those same cookie cutter, 13, 14, 15, 16 inches. There we go, beautiful river walleye right there. Let's let him go. I mean, it's close, but. Can't beat that right there, can you? See you later, buddy. Back for more. Oh man, you, you can tell when you get a bigger one because it's just that poof, that super hard punch. Whoa, what's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> Gonna film without me? It's about to. Yeah. What'd you say? Nothing yet. Did you tell him we had a good day? We did have a good day. We had a good afternoon. And um, yeah, we just kind of needed to catch a lot of fish today. We've all been there in our fishing careers where we're like, gee dang it, it's been a minute since I've set the hook 25 times in like an hour. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of what we did this afternoon. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. Kind of a quick little, just a uh, little beat up some fish little video. Fun afternoon though. 
Absolutely. Now the cool thing about river system is like in the spring, everyone you go to is a little bit different. One, you might be on the mighty Mississippi where you're fishing, you know, really strong current in deeper water where the spots are much bigger and it's a lot of sand. You might drive a couple hours in the other direction, you might be fishing a river that's all really shallow. The fish are in like a foot of water. You could pitch like eighth ounce jig. So there's a, there's a massive amount of diversity from river system to river system. That's kind of what makes these systems cool. They're all a little bit different. They all tick a little bit different this time of year based on temperature, water level, what stage of the run the walleyes are in on a lot of these systems. So um, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. We're gonna actually do the same thing tomorrow morning. We might film a little YouTube video. We might film some stuff for the future. We might film some stuff for walleye now. Um, but yeah, we're not really sure, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Mitchell, any last words? Nope, stay tuned for more. We're gonna stay at a luxurious hotel luxurious, tonight and eat uh, fine gourmet food in a minute here. From so I, Applebee's. From Applebee's. So I appreciate you guys watching this one. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.